Hello, child of God. I welcome you once again to Christ Without Borders. I just come here to share another prophetic warning. So, you know, when it rains, there are some reddish worms that come from the ground. Very, they are reddish worms. When it rains heavily, you see them crawling on the ground. Now, in this vision, I saw the same type of reddish worms, but these types, this the ones I saw were different. The tail end of these 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 specific ones I was shown were were round. You know, the normal ones you see when it rains, they are just in like they are like um, a line, a straight line form. The ones I saw this time, they had a circular. At the tail end of these type of worms that I saw, they have they had a circular, a circular. It was they were circular at their tail end. So the the tail end was was circular was round. And um, and what I saw was that this type attacked people. It was attacking a lot of people. And then once it gains access into the leg or the feet of the host, it starts spreading itself uh, in different directions. The first, the normal one, the worm, because it's, it's in a line, it's in a line form, when it enters the feet of a host, it moves in a street, just one line, it went just one direction. This one with a circular, which was circular at the tail end, when it gains access into a host through their feet, it starts spreading itself in multiple directions at the same time. And this is what I was shown. Um, and it spreads very quickly. It spreads very quickly, very rapidly, once it, once it gains access into the feet of the host. So we have to be very careful, you know, as the rains are, as it keeps raining, we are seeing, you know, floods everywhere. And two days, I think yesterday, the day before yesterday, New York got flooded. And, you know, I was not giving a country where this is going to happen. Maybe it's going to be worldwide because there's a lot of these floods happening everywhere. You know, the sea wants to break its bound because the sea level is risen. You know, so that's why I, I get worried when people try to point, uh, trying to politicize some of these things. I mean, you, New York is, New York has infrastructure. This is New York. This is financial capital of the world and New York is underwater. I also don't know if that New York being a financial capital of the world, being underwater, also has a significance to the United States dollar going down, going south, because we've heard uh, there's something like that, there's a prophecy like that. So I don't know whether it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a sign that the United States dollar is going, it is a sign flashing light that the United States dollar is going down, because New York is a financial capital of the world. So if New York is underwater, then I mean, sometimes God speaks with signs and symbols and some of these things. But this is what I was shown yesterday, October 1st. So as places keep flooding up, well, we saw a little here in Ghana, and around places, South Africa and other places, make sure your children are protected. Don't let them go into the rain. Um, always make, make sure you are wearing protective, uh, protective footwear. Every time it's raining, you want to go out, make sure your, your feet is protected because this thing uh, was spreading very quickly. Once it gains access into the feet, it spreads very quickly in different directions. So, something else. And also, like I said the other time, this is not about gov what government structure is not about the economy or anything. God is using some of these things to flash a warning light that my coming is close, my coming is near. Get 
close to me, get connected to me, because you can't protect yourself, you can't defend yourself. So those are the people who are out there trying to think, if I have more money, I'll be safe. If I have more houses, I'll be safe. If I have this, I have that. No, but nothing can save you. The only thing that will save you is that you have allowed yourself and you have surrendered your life to Jesus Christ the Lord, as the Lord, the Master, Savior. And then through that, He is putting a hedge of fire around you. He is, he is putting a hedge of fire around you. It's not about how much you have. It's not about who you know. It's not about who you are connected to. It will not protect you. Hmm? All the things we knew, all the things we thought will, will provide us security, it won't. It won't. It's, it's a time, and this is a time of separation. Those who really want to hold on to him and depend on him, and those who want to go around doing their own thing. And th this is it. Mm -hmm. The lines have been drawn already. I've said it already. You can't sit on the fence. It's either you are with him or you are not with him. If you are not with him, you are on your own. You know, so when some of these things are happening, nobody should try to point, say, say, make it political. It's not political. God is using whatever is at his disposal to tell people and warn human beings that my coming is near, so get close to me. Thank you once again. This is still Christ without borders. Protect your children. Make sure you are wearing protective footwear. I've said it already, and you should pray. Every day, pray every morning. Protect your children. Cover your family in the blood of Jesus because you don't know what is out there. Thank you once again. This is still Christ without borders.